This is Danielle. I'm about to tell you about the how to tame to take your time. Um, so from the main menu, you go from to you for utilities menu. Then you do D. So I'm my my date format is currently in the UK because that's where I'm from. So if you wanted to change it to USA, you press S. But then, um, if you couldn't perhaps you couldn't find your country's particular um, time format, then there's a space with H, which can tell you the different options you can choose. For USA format, press S. For UK format, press K. Then to complete your entry, press Enter. Okay, so that basically space with H tells you what options you can choose. Um, so I've got one in UK. Time format. So now I'm on 12 um, time time format. Mine's currently on 12 hour because I prefer the 12 hour clock to the 24 hour clock. But if you wanted a 24 hour clock, then you press B, B um, dots 1 and 2, which would be B, but that signifies 24. Okay, so that's 24 hour now. I'm going to change my back to 12 hour. Okay, enter. Time zone is a bit that generally needs some change because. Generally, when you get your braille note, whether that's come back from repair or you get it for the first time, you're probably not going to get your time zone because braille note is originally from America and the particular time zones. So you may not be able to find what may not be able to have um, immediately what you want. So um, mine's currently on G GMT, Dublin, Edinburgh, Lisbon, London. Um, basically, if you could press space with H again. Press space with dots three or press the initial letter. Time so if you knew the letter of your time zone, like for example one of the GMT um, time standards, then you just press G and then enough times, which is what I had to do to get to Edinburgh, Dublin, etc. But if not, dot three and four, which is ST symbol people that use grade two with space. Greenwich standard time. Morocco standard time. Okay, so basically that's scrolling you through. That's basically scrolling you through um, the different time zones so you can find your one. But I'm going to have to get on that one GMT. There we go, I found mine now. And day of saving time basically means that it basically means that when your clocks go back and forth as they, as they do twice a year, that that should change it for you. So it saves you going and changing the clock, the braille note should change the format for you. So if you pick yes, it means the braille note will change the clocks back or forwards because currently the clock's about to go back soon, so um, that one enable that to happen. It will do it for you. Time. Currently here it's 14.56, but say the time is wrong, you basically would um, press the letters, so you would press the letters of the numbers, cause it, without the number sign, so you type the number without the number sign, so say it was 9 o'clock, you would type in 900. So now it's 14... Six. Five, six, so I change back to my own time by typing, by typing in. Um, pressing enter. So date currently Monday, fourteenth of July, two thousand fourteen. Basically, if that was wrong, because sometimes they are wrong, I got it before. My brother it before, and it said first of January two thousand one. So you just type in the date and the, um, the day, the date, the month, and the year. And then the week starts on which day. Um, currently mine's Monday, but some people prefer their week to start on a Sunday for when they're changing planners and things. So um, if you wanted the religious start of the week, so Sunday, then it'd be S. But Monday is M. And that's really quickly then, so that'll take you straight up to the utilities menu. So that's basically how you would edit all your date and time and clock settings.